Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a small device that turns anything into a speaker. So I'm going to be showing you how this vibration speaker works, and then I'm going to be using it in my vacuum chamber to show how sound cannot propagate in a vacuum. So in order to show you what I mean, I decided to have an impromptu dance party at some of my friends' houses without them knowing. So I snuck over to some of my friends' houses and stuck this on their window to start playing loud music in their house. What's really cool about this is it sounds like the music is actually coming from inside of your house when it's playing. Because if you stick it on the window, it vibrates the window back and forth so you can hear it from the outside and the inside as if that window is the speaker cone. Okay, here we go. So this thing literally turns anything into a speaker, and when I say anything, I mean anything. So believe it or not, most of this sound is actually coming from the table vibrating and not this device itself. So how this is working is this centerpiece here is driving up and down really fast. It's creating the frequencies we need to hear music. Now the only reason we can't hear this right now is because it's not moving a lot of air. In order for us to hear it, we need a larger amplitude. So to move more air, we stick it on a surface. So instead of just vibrating this small circle here, it vibrates whatever it's touching, like this. So now instead of just vibrating that little circle piece there, it's vibrating this whole tabletop. So that creates enough air waves that we can actually hear it. So you can see this vibrating a little bit more when I put some water on it now. So a good example of this is this spring here. So when I jiggle this spring around, it's wiggling some air, but only a really tiny bit of air. And so I can barely hear the spring jiggling around. But if I hook that spring to a membrane, so this is basically like a drum here, and the spring is hooked to the center of it, and then I jiggle the spring around, then you can really hear the spring. Now listen to this. So literally all this is, is a spring hooked to like a drum. So it's hooked to the very center here and it's so loud just because it's vibrating so much air with this big circumference here. Okay, so one other thing I wanted to test with this is does sound travel in a vacuum? In a previous experiment, I had used a Bluetooth speaker in my vacuum chamber and showed that there were no sound waves being propagated outside of the vacuum chamber because there's no air to propagate it. But some people had a problem with that because 
some speaker cones are sealed off to the atmosphere and so they can have actually air in there and so when you make a vacuum in the vacuum chamber that air expands and it pushes the speaker cone against the top of the speaker and it can't actually vibrate to make the sound anyways. So you can't actually prove that the sound wasn't traveling in the vacuum chamber because the cone wasn't actually vibrating. But in this case, I'm going to put my vibration speaker, which we know is vibrating because it's not actually a cone. It's completely exposed to the atmosphere. And this thing's just moving up and down. And I'm going to put that in a bucket in here. And the bucket is going to be vibrating, creating the sound. And so we know that it's going to be a complete vacuum surrounding this. And let's see if it actually propagates the sound through the vacuum. We know it shouldn't, but let's go ahead and check it out and make sure it doesn't. OK, so the vibration speaker is actually in there. But let's see if you can actually hear anything after I turn off my vacuum pump. Okay, so I don't hear anything. Now let's let the air back in. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notifications and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And head to theactionlab.com if you want to check out the new experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.